Education funding always becomes a tense topic at the Kentucky Capitol. That's because Republican lawmakers want to provide public money for schools other than traditional public schools. And that's something that public school supporters worry about. This year, multiple bills are moving forward that could change education in Kentucky. LEX 18's political reporter Carolina Buchek has tonight's big story at 5.30. Every year, school choice supporters rally at the Capitol with one goal in mind. They want Kentucky to offer and expand tax credits to help some families afford private schools. They say it's about giving families options, regardless of how much money they have. And I see the need for choices. You know, some kids have behavior issues, some kids have sensory issues, some kids have attention deficit disorder, some kids have ADD, and public school just doesn't fit. It fit for some, but it doesn't just fit for everybody. So this year, lawmakers are considering expanding Kentucky's school choice program to all 120 counties. And there are two bills that would really help school choice grow. But these bills aren't the only ones that would change the education landscape here in Kentucky. This bill, House Bill 9, it would give charter schools the green light they've been waiting for. Parents are desperate for something different, and this is a, a good opportunity to do something different. Representative Chad McCoy is the lawmaker behind House Bill 9. He believes it's time to fund charter schools in Kentucky. You see, charter schools became legal in Kentucky in 2017, but none have started up because they didn't have access to money. And House Bill 9 would give charter schools funding through state and local tax dollars, the same way traditional public schools are funded and some worry about what this would do to regular public schools. Public money for public schools! Groups like Kentucky 120 are opposing the charter bill because they believe it will hurt traditional public schools, especially those in rural areas. What will this do to those communities when we start draining that money out elsewhere? Like, it just feels like it's gonna be a huge drain. But Representative McCoy says charter schools are public schools too. They are 100% public schools, have to take all comers, have to take everybody with an IEP. All the fear arguments you hear simply are not founded in reality. So the fight over education continues. In Frankfurt, Carolina Butrek, LX18 News.